What's the lesson for today? Bad news spreads faster than good news. July 16th, there was a crazy story. Someone published on Facebook that I was in a car crash reading a book while I was driving. As you can see, it's not true. The old handy Lamborghini's here. People have been texting me all day like, are you okay, dude? I'm like, yep, I'm still here. Somebody showed a picture of it all totaled. It didn't get totaled. It's funny how uh, bad news spreads. Scientists call that the negativity bias. You gotta be careful if it drags down your own happiness. That's why the news is mostly negative stuff. If you look at it and do the math, there's about 90% negative, 10% positive, because it gets rated. I was reading a book by a Columbia professor, Halverson. It's the same thing. The biases of the brain are very hard to overcome, and the masses of people will never overcome them. So if we're built to be aware for survival, for those negative potential outcomes, even though that was functional 10,000 years ago or 50,000 years ago, we still get our brain hijacked by that same primitive instinct. So you got to rise above your primitive instincts, you know, and uh, you got to play with it and enjoy it a little bit in the sense that uh, you'll know a little bit more about what makes the media tick, about what makes other humans tick, so that you'll see the fallacies but not fall into them uh, yourself. That's the key. This is my documentation of my life, the things that I think each day. If it offers some value to you, you know, that's good. Uh, I get some value from just reminding myself what I learned for that day. So that's what this video is about. They're not always profound. They're not always uh, pertinent to your life, but hopefully in the cumulative, there's some, uh, some value you can take away. Talk to you soon.